Hello, welcome to this lesson in Mastering Statistics. We're finally going to work a complete problem where we're going to be using p-values to determine if we reject that null hypothesis or fail to reject. Up until now, I've been giving you little pieces and little kind of small examples to kind of build your knowledge. Now we're going to do the full, full-blown deal starting from the beginning. So our problem is a newspaper reports that the average age of women who get married is 25 years old or younger. A researcher thinks that the average age is older than this. He samples 213 women, and he gets an average age of 25.4 years old with a standard deviation of 2.3 years. With a 95% level of confidence, test the researcher's claim. So you see the format of this problem is essentially the same as what we've been doing in the past. You have to figure out the null and the research hypothesis. Uh, in this case, the null hypothesis and the research hypothesis is dealing with the age that women, on average, tend to get married. So let's write that down. I left the um, requirements for rejecting the null hypothesis on the board here. We, we will refer to that later. But for now, the null hypothesis, it's a mean value of ages we're talking about. And it says right here, they re the newspaper reports the average age of women who get married is 25 years old or younger or younger. So 25 or younger, that means less than or equal to 25. So the alternate hypothesis, and you can see it right here, it says a researcher thinks the average age is older than this. So this guy thinks the average age is 25. Now of course he doesn't really mean that every single person in the world who gets married is older than 25. He's saying on average of our population, I think, that it should be uh, higher than 25. But you can't check the whole population, you can't sample everybody, but what this guy does is he samples 213 women to see if he can figure out the answer. So let's write down all of the information now. What he does is he samples uh, 213 people, right? And when he gets the data back, what he finds out is the average age of the people in his sample set that got married, 25.4 years old. The standard deviation of those people, I'll put years to remind you of that, is 2.3 years. Okay. Also, uh, it tells us to test this, uh, test this claim at a 95% level of confidence. So 95% level of confidence. So this is literally all of the information that we're given. And you're not going to be told, use uh, well, you might be told, use p-values, but you're not going to be told... Uh, large sample, small samples, normal distribution, T distribution, you're not going to be told any of that. You need to figure this stuff out for yourself. So the first thing to do, we wrote down our hypothesis, the null and the alternate hypothesis, and we also see that the number of samples that this person chose